Odysseus is one of the greatest heroes in all of Greek mythology and definitely one of my favorites. His story holds so much teaching for those of us who want adventure and achievement, but who also dearly love our families too. You see, Odysseus was a hero in the battles of Troy and after 10 long years at war, undertakes the short trip home to his family with ships full of gold and glory. But the problem is, like usual, the gods had different plans and through a series of quests and trials that stretched another full 10 years, tested him until greatness was all that was left. And in one particular trial, Odysseus finds himself trapped in the cave of a giant cyclops called Polyphemus, whose name literally means full of songs and legends. You see, that is the ultimate quest of the Greek hero, to have a great name, one that would echo through the ages. But here is our hero, Odysseus, king of Ithaca and victorious warrior of Troy, trapped in somebody else's cave. But to escape, Odysseus comes up with a plan. You see, when asked his name, Odysseus replies to the giant, it's Otus, which means nobody. And in the night, they blind the giant who calls out to his friends for help. And this is what he says, help, nobody has blinded me. And his friends, figuring that he's crazy, just leave him to his own devices. And in the mayhem, Odysseus and his men slip past. And it's a subtle lesson, but it's one of the greatest lessons in all of mythology for leaders. It's the invitation of Odysseus. He's asking through the ages, are you willing to become a nobody for the sake of your team? You see, the greatest heroes, like the greatest leaders, don't do it for their own name or for their own glory, but for the success of their team. I wanna ask, do you have a real heart of a leader or is it still just about you? We've got to have a willingness to change, to grow, to evolve and to mature.